and want it with a concoction of features so streamlined, so designed for ergonomic awesomeness, to completely adapt to everything that is you. And you is the only thing that matters. Awesomeness, eh? Well, it's been a highly anticipated delivery from Kickstarter, and I'm happy to say I have the O-Snap Snap Wallet in my hands. Yes, I know, it's another magnet-driven stack wallet. We've seen these before, but this one begins to really nail the concept. Hmm, here are four of the modules. Well, there's really just two. I have two of the card modules, which I purchased, and the ID module and the band mod. So of these, there are a few others we'll talk about, but this is what I ordered. And uh, let's get into each one of these. Let's get them out of the box. So they come in this kind of slide box. So here is the O-Snap oh, card wallet one. Let's get card wallet number two out right here. Set these aside, and let's see, we have the Band mod. This comes in different colors, which we'll mention. Very good. And finally, the ID mod. Okay, all comes in black, with the exception of the cover and this band mod right here. And so you can tell they're already snapping together. Let's uh, take a look at the main card mod. This is for all the cards, obviously. And it has this uh, clever mechanism over here to lever out the cards. So if you pull this down, the cards come out. And we have some informational cards here, uh, so we'll set that aside. Looks like we have the same thing with the other card module, so we'll take these out. And you can see how this lever goes back into place. Uh, it, it, of course, goes back into place when cards are inserted, so we'll look at that in a second. And then we've got the ID mod. Well, the ID mod is where an ID slips into here. We'll show that. And finally, the band mod. Well, because it has a band right here. And this is really for cash because, you know, with stack wallets, cash is really the biggest issue in how you get it places. And they have this band mod. We've seen a magnetic stack concept before with the Pitaka e -Mag Ease wallet we've seen before. I did a review on this and you can see it up here, which is most closely related to the O-Snap wallet. It had great promise, but had implementation and production problems, but that didn't stop loads of people from buying it. And we also have right here the Mod wallet from Distill Union has all the components, they'll snap together. This is a leather first approach. So... Now you can build the perfect wallet for whatever you need. Well, we'll see about that. This is the card module. Capacity of three to five cards, three raised or five cards. So if you have embossed cards, you can only get three in each of these modules, but of course, you can put multiple modules together and they Ugh, they have really good magnets, so we'll take that apart. As I mentioned quickly, this lever action is to extract the cards. We'll show that. Pull this down and it pushes the cards out and is magnetic. So once it gets close enough, it does snap back in place. Or when cards are pushed in, it pulls it back in place. Now let's look at the band module. Made to carry cash. Cash folded twice or in thirds, whichever your preference. And can also carry extra cards underneath this rubber band right here. This is a rubber strap. It is really a rubber band. And this comes in six colors. Black aluminum. This is the space gray aluminum I have here. Gold aluminum, carbon fiber, copper, and titanium. And if we take the card module right here, you can see that this snaps into place very easily. And we'll show how this stays aligned in just a second. Well, now let's look at the ID module. This is made to carry your ID. It's milled from aluminum and it does lock your ID in place. I'm just gonna do this right now just for fun. So here's your thumb access. So if this comes in underneath like that, you can see it goes through the channels on both sides and there it goes, just locked into place. Really nice and then you've got your little finger access, get your fingernail in here and pull it out. Very, very easy to access and it does lock into place. I mean, nothing's gonna come out of this uh, without any issues. Now, there's other modules I didn't purchase but are available, which include the cover plate. The cover plate just makes things look nice. Comes in six colors, it's like the band module, but you can't tap it or snap it on top of the ID or the band modules. It has to go on top of the card module. It will only work snapping into the card or tools module, and there's a tool module, you say. Well, yes, there is. And the tools module provides you a knife and bottle opener inserted into a module. This is good for opening boxes, bottles, stabbing things, you know, and it's not, of course, TSA approved. And finally, th finally, there's a phone mount which leverages the magnets to lock your wallet into place on your phone. Okay, now let's see these modules in action.
As mentioned, the company recommends up to five cards per module, and that is if they are flat. They're flat, not embossed. Embossed cards, they look like this. They have the raised le numbers and letters on them, and flat is flat. They're just as part of the imprint on the card itself. Now, what's interesting is if we take off the... Uh, the band portion here, we can see the branding right here. And you're going, hey, this is great. Let me get my cards out. Whoopsie. Well, what happens is, uh, you know, they have to be presented in a certain way. And, and this gives you the, the first access to them. Of course, you can do it this way, but you're having to dig and go over. So the, the point is, is that the, the lever has to be on the bottom on if you're coming from the left-hand side, or it'll be on the top if you're accessing the cards from the right-hand side, depending on what hand you are. These are designed in the United States and made in China. It's all machined aluminum. So instead of massive magnets like we saw with the Pitaka, and let me show you what that looks like. Uh, you can see here we have big magnets that uh, give you this capability of just, you know, fanning out your, your different modules here, but you have magnets all over the place on this particular wallet. And that did have problems with demagnetizing cards. And it makes this really super thick. So if we look at the O-Snap, we can see that the magnets are, are embedded on the bottom and the top. So they're embedded right here and right here. And they have a, a rubber buffer on, e on either side, both sides here, that actually helps prevent scratching and really helps seat the module. The other thing to notice here is that we have this slot. You're going, oh, is that for a thumb slot? No, it's not. It's actually helping to seat the other modules with each other. So if we do this opposite, we can see that it will connect but it'll move. You can move this module around very easily. If we turn it over, and we can see that the module is a uh, little indentation is on the bottom and it snaps into the receiver on the top, this isn't moving because it has a place to align it to right here. From a pricing perspective, we've got the ID module, that's $35. Uh, the card module, each is $59. And the band we have here, this is $29. So this stack set, well, let me be clear, it also includes uh, the other card module. So I did buy two card modules. This is a total of 59, th sorry, this, and the tool set will cost you $59. What this cost me here is $182. That's what I constructed just from these four modules. That's kind of a bit expensive. Another item I want to point out is extracting cards from the card module. So I told you the orientation where you have this lever, but another problem is how you actually hold the wallet to get the cards out. So if you're holding a wallet like you normally would, you know, right here, and you're trying to use the lever to get the cards out, you're working against yourself. And the reason why is because this is very thin, which contributes to the thinness of the overall wallet. But what we have here is very thin metal. So if I push here, you can see that it has give. Well, when I have cards in here, which we'll put in very quickly, and we then hold this, we're gripping the cards. And so as you're trying to push them out with the lever, you're holding onto them. You really have to hold the top and the bottom to then get the lever to push them out. And then you don't have any interference of pushing in and kind of locking the cards. One of the limitations is that uh, due to these alignment nodes right here that we have on the band and the ID mod, uh, you can't put them on the exterior, meaning that you can't put a ID mod on the exterior or attached to the band, or if you have the cover plate, you can't do that. Uh, these two, as well as the cover plate, are the only ones that can be on one of two sides. So you can't have a cover plate, you can't have the band and the ID at the same time. You can only have two, which will be on both sides as a sandwich of the wallet that you have. Looking at all the mods that are stacked, I have the ID mod, I've got the two cards and the band. If we look at what this measures, we're in at about almost you know, 0 0.6, 0 0.65 of an inch. And for comparison, let's pull out the Pitaka. So the Pitaka also has four modules. And one of the things being talked about with the O-Snap Snap Wallet is that it's very thin. And we can see that each of these modules is not really super thin, but if we get these together, and we can see that we are still, you know, just a little under six. Uh, and, and this has four modules, which does include a cover plate, but you can also have the, the mod that can carry cash. So it's similar, but whereas the Pitaka is plastic, this is all metal in its offering. By way of a Build-A-Wallet magnet type offering from either Pitaka or Distill Union, the OSTAP wallet offering is appealing for those who like the metal materials more. And it's not a bad offering. So now on to the final score. Quality of five, uh, excellent, made very, very well. A lot of attention to detail in this. Price of two, this was bordering on a one. Uh, really expensive, especially as you add additional modules, which are kind of normally found in other traditional wallets. Features a three, it all does what it should do. 
usability of three. Uh, outside of a couple things, it's very easy to use, uh, no problems there, and perception of four. I think there's great design that's gone into this in consideration to try and make what is traditionally a difficult space better. And that gives us a final score of 36 out of 50. Magnets are cool if they're done right. Please subscribe and like this video, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.